Hey everybody, I'm sitting on the floor in my tiny house and wheels. I have this behemoth of a box here. Now, I'm out of breath. I'm excited. I'm shaky. Um, those of you who understand my electro electronics background and my experience in the past, my experience of the past will understand why I'm shaky and out of breath and excited. Um, Melanie and I took a road trip today. Uh, met this guy, Lou, that's all I'm gonna refer him as, um, who is wheelchair bound and can't really move much and has lost his ability to speak. But he communicates through typing and um, he invited us to come over to visit him and we went to a different state today that's all I will say but we took a road trip to a different state and we made a new friend and um, now we spent quite a few hours with him today visiting and I may be repeating myself because I'm in a different world right now in a different zone which those of you who understand uh, the concept of what I'm about to get into will fully understand and comprehend why I'm in a different zone. And it's hard for me to uh, think clearly and explain what's been going on because my head is in a different world. I know this all sounds pretty weird. I have received the... Uh, I got the computer open over here. It's... Um, a Quanta Magnetics Q3 Magnetic Energy Generator. It's a Q3 Charge Accelerator Kit. Now my cats are being misbehaving and annoying right now. This is a 65 pound behemoth of a Magnetic Energy Generator that those of you who know the Bedini motor uh, will recognize where am I at in here a little bit of what I'm talking about and what this thing means I'm going to give you a little uh, summary and a quick tour of this um, this guy got this years ago and he obviously is not able to do this himself and uh, long story short, he wanted me to make a video series of assembling this, and um, his enjoyment will be through my working on this device. And it says here it's a beautiful machined, uh, the, the framing is of plexiglass, and it says Quanta Magnetics. And there's all these plexiglass pieces I'm going to show you what is in the kit. There's all these pieces. Now basically this is three magnetic or radiant energy generators in one. There's three different types of, of generator in one in this kit. From my understanding of two hours online researching tonight since I got home. So there's these are all plexiglass with the protective paper backing. And these are all the plexiglass pieces, finely machined pieces. Um, this I know to be the capacitor mounting plate. There's, uh, I have to get 49 supercapacitors to finish and complete the full model, the full scale model. Um, there's a armature assembly, if I'm speaking properly. There's another piece that holds the coils. There are four assemblies here for the coils. There's, and I, I've, I'm just barely scraping the surface here. Here's a bunch of assembly hardware. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Felix, stop. Felix. Yeah, he's playing and baby doesn't want to. There's six rectifier uh, voltage rectifiers here there's um, 
solid state relays. There's some solid state relays. There's some mounting hardware, metal, aluminum mounting hardware. This is a fine package of hardware. Everything is super finely packaged and labeled. Really high quality. And the guy says, I'm sure you'll appreciate the quality of this kit on the uh, on uh, the, the developer's website. There's uh, some more mounting hardware. I'm thinking that's for the toroid part of the kit. There's all the plastic pieces for the coils, mounting the coils. There's the magnet uh, holders, plastic magnet holders, and some very finely machined hardware. Aluminum pieces and some bolts. There's, I recognize this is one of the front plates, also plexiglass and some more finely machined pieces, aluminum pieces. There's a whole mess of uh, mounting hardware, some serious hardware here, all aluminum. Those of you who know the Bedini motor know why aluminum is important in all of this. And there's a whole mess of hardware here, mounting hardware, and a couple more rectifiers, and something I can't quite identify. Um, there's some reed relays. I don't know what that black thing is yet. And there's just a very, very few bits of electronics. There are very few pieces of electronics in this typical, in this specific generator kit. There is not much electronics involved. There's a lot of hardware. There's a whole lot of hardware. But there are not that many electronics involved in this kit. And then here's some uh, bearings and some more mounting hardware and then we have uh, 24 <coughs> these are heavy 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 24 pre-wound coils for the various pieces of the um, generator so this I'm, I've just entered a whole new world uh, again only those who understand the Benini motor and those who also know this um, Quanta magnetics generator will understand exactly what's going on here. There's another piece here wrapped in a paper towels aluminum rod. So I'm excited. I can't wait to get this going, but I've got a lot, to, a lot of studying to do before I'm ready to put this together. I've got a lot of research to do. Hey, Felix and a lot of studying and I'm going to study the um, installation and assembly uh, instructions and figure this all out before I jump in. I'm not going to jump in blind on all of this but it's really huge and exciting. So we have a new video series that will be coming along here in the following weeks, months, however long it takes me to put this together. And uh, I'm going to be putting this together in stages and doing experiments with each stage as I go along and I'll do everything on video. So this has the potential to power the entire house above and beyond what Melanie and I have ever had or even needed in this off-grid tiny house on wheels. This has the potential to uh, provide us with more than we could even uh, comprehend before. So I'm trying to put this back together neatly. Felix thinks it's a toy. There we go. So there's the Quanta Magnetics generator kit. This is the Q3. So you guys, anybody interested, can go check it out. It's the Q3, which is basically three systems in a kit. Um, and there's another box which contains uh, 12 
N52, one and a half inch by three quarter inch round neo magnets. And those were there as well. Ow, Felix, stop. He just clogged my toe. So that is all there. Um, the only thing I need is the super caps. 49 super capacitors at $45, $47 a piece. So I'm, that's going to take me time to be able to, to get those. But for now, based on my understanding, I can start assembling this and get the first section done. And then even possibly the second section done before I really have to get into the super capacitors. Because this is a series of, of generators. And you could call it a radiant energy generator. It is, again, like the Bedini motor. So a lot of people have been interested in uh, seeing me get back into this. And this is the boost I needed to do it. And the reason I'm talking so funny and slow is because I am so excited and overwhelmed. This is a whole new universe, and I haven't been into the Bedini motor uh, or the radiant energy in a couple years. And I've been wanting to get back into it. So here it is. And uh, this, is, this is big. This is really big. So I want to thank you very much. Um, I know we just formed a new friendship because we've we had a great talk time today. Melanie did too, by the way. We both enjoyed our time with you. It was good to get to know you. And uh, I hope that you'll enjoy this video series. You're probably getting a quite a laugh and a kick out of how I'm talking right now and how excited I am. Uh, I'm sure you are. So uh, we'll do this together through video. And... Uh, We'll enter a new realm here in electronics and electricity generation. Um, anybody has questions, comments, or anybody who's had experience with these, please feel free to uh, leave your comments below or bring it over to the forum. Especially um, if you have any experience with this stuff, bring it over to the forum, the doityourselfworld.com slash forum. You can click the link when you get to the Do It Yourself World and bring over a discussion on this. Be happy to hear from you and also answer any questions you may have. So there's that. Now, that is a heavy, heavy, heavy behemoth. 65 pounds. And I'm telling you, my, my mind is like flying right now. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night on the internet researching this alone. And then on top of that, I've got, um, a bunch of electronics books. Most of you won't comprehend a, a fraction of this. Some of you know all about it. But there's Forrest Mims' um, Electronic Formulas, Symbols, and Circuits book I actually never did see before or have. Uh, fundam fundamental Electrical Troubleshooting. Electricity explained in a way that makes it useful for mechanics. Interesting. So there's that. Um, there's the book that I, I had. My original was uh, the old green version from the 1980s. Forrest Mims, Getting Started in Electronics, back from the good old days of Radio Shack. Can you see that? The light isn't... I got the light behind me, so I'm sorry if it's not perfect. Um, there's a hundred electronic circuits in here, which, by the way, I've used again and again and again and again through the years. It's a great book. Uh, my, micro Electronic Circuits and Devices really cool book and it covers some some stuff that I'll probably be using it's really hardcore in-depth book of electric electricity and electronics practical electronics for inventors another very in-depth very cool book and this one actually has some stuff buck converter boost converter a buck boost converter um, really exciting stuff those of you who are into solar and uh, solar panels and um, MPPT charge controllers know about buck and boost and buck boost converters it's too in-depth for a brief discussion but maybe one day I can get into that and explain the various types of solar charge controllers uh, by the way, I have been stirred up recently to get more into the, uh, based on comments I've received recently, I'm going to get more into the 
electronic side of things again outside showing you the batteries, battery maintenance, how to hook up solar panels, how to deal with, uh, how to choose a charge controller, the different types of charge controllers and the differences in how they work. And then here was another thing that made my jaw drop. This an extra bonus is the Arduino starter kit which is something I always wanted to get into as well. And there's the complete Arduino starter kit and the Arduino workshop with 65 projects, which is something that's going to devour hours of my time as well. So I want to say thank you very much. And um, this is not just a brief meeting. This is, I think, the beginning of a lifelong friendship. Right, Melanie? Yes. Melanie, um, we all had a great talk. All that was... It, you know, he was um, finger typing on the computer, and we read what he types on his, his laptop. But we were able to have a very good time today. And uh, Melanie's making faces at Felix. So, thank you very much. And uh, I hope you get a good kick out of this video and seeing me stutter. And uh, my head is floating in another dimension right now. And it's your fault. <laughs> So I'm going to be spending the rest of the night on the internet studying this generator. Alright guys, most of you probably don't have any idea what I'm talking about. Melanie doesn't. But uh, this is some cool stuff and could potentially um, give me all the energy I ever need for the rest of my life. This device here, as well as the Bedini motor, has, if, if, if you build the Bedini motor big enough, which I never could afford. These devices have the ability to take a set of batteries that you have and keep them going for the rest of your life. You'll never have to buy batteries again. And I don't care what anybody says and tries to deny it, it works. I've used it for years and I'm a believer. This one here just does it on a super, super, super high level compared to my little Benini motor that I made is down here in the dirt somewhere. And this is a really, really high level in comparison. It's the same principle, I believe, but it's just on a massive scale. And uh, it, will, it will keep my battery bank going indefinitely. And the neat thing about it is it requires a little bit of solar power input keep it going and can power your entire battery bank charging it and then you run your house off that so I want to get back to the internet and studying guys Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project good night